Hello guys, welcome back to the Beyond Sky channel. So in the today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to shuffle out the EOVs and merge them back accurately as how it should be. So I have already set up my project settings with the ASUS CG workflow. If you don't know how to do that, you can just click on the I button up right there and you can know it. So here is my render which has over scan also. So we can add lens distortion. So I will start shuffling out first. So here I will take shuffle node. And in the node first I will write the value in one. So we can see the name of the AOV right here. I will start with the diffuse diary one. Diffuse diary one, diffuse diary two. Diffuse in direct one. Diffuse in direct two. Then it will be ambient occlusion. I will keep the shuffle of the ambient occlusion to the white node so we can easily see that it is an ambient occlusion. Okay, specular direct one and specular direct two. After that here. Specular indirect one, specular indirect two, specular indirect two, yes. So make sure everything goes right. There are four more, which is code, code direct one and code direct two. Code indirect one, code indirect two, indirect one, and here last indirect two. All right. So here we have shuffled out every AOVs right here, and additionally I will shuffle out one more pass. AOV which is diffuse albedo. So if you see in the diffuse albedo, we just have the base color of the our final render. So now what we are going to do is uh, we will merge four of this direct. We will merge four of this diffuse direct and indirect. And after that we will take here. Uh, we will first keep this operation to plus. After that, we will take another merge node right here, and we will merge with this diffuse algorithm, and we will divide it. So right now, what you are seeing here is whatever lighting you have in your scene. This is what it shows when you divide the diffuse with diffuse algorithm. Uh, right now here, you choose lighting plus your textures, and here it just shows your lighting in the scene. And this one is only your texture. So let's say uh, I will give you an example why I did this. So let's say you just want to affect the lighting only, and not the texture. So uh, I will show you right here. I will create a little. Photo just to show you, and let's say I have graded it down something like this, and I will take another grade on only the texture, and I will mask something like this here, and I will change the color. I will not keep this grade here. I will keep it outside for right now. So you are seeing that 
I am affecting only the lighting. And here I will take another merge and I will merge with this diffuse albedo. But this time we will keep the operation to multiply. So if I disable this screen, this is here we have divided it and here we have multiplied it again. So if I take another shuffle node and if I extract the diffuse only. If you see there is no difference, we have done the right method here. So now I will put this grade in this B pipe of this multiplier merge. And if you see right now here, it is just affecting our textures and our colors, not the lighting. That's why if you see. Here it's also the same and here it's also the same. But if I even enable this, so by this method, you are only affecting the light here and on this only the textures and color. So let's say we have shuffled out diffuse lightly and we will start merging the rest of the UVs. So this is an image occlusion pass, so I will keep the operation to multiply. Rest of the AOS you can merge with the operation of plus because those are all the lights like specular, coat, everything. I am skipping this part. Alright, uh, we have merged all the AOS successfully. And, and if you see the original and after the shuffling out this, you will see there is a difference because first of all uh, okay so if I show you and if I and if I do one two then you will see that the original render and our shuffled out UVs which have merged right now are actually not matching and it is because of this ambient occlusion so if I disable this and if I show you now you see it's just the same there is no difference in it it completely matches. so uh, why it doesn't match with the AOV is because of ambient occlusion is not part of the beauty. Uh, that's why it is just an additional AOV which gives the touch feel of a shadow, which is not actually shadow but it gives a uh, big shadow depth. Uh, so, this is why it wasn't actually matching. And I will uh, also explain you a little bit in more depth that why I did this process and uh, what is the diffuse direct and diffuse indirect. I will merge four of them from the outside so we don't mess up with this with our main part and I will keep this operation to plus and uh, not the actually diffuse algorithm sorry yeah right here ok now it's good and if I shuffle out the diffuse, uh, right here, yes. And if I show you, there is no changes in both of them because what this gives us is actually it gives us more controls over the uh, lighting, you know, the direct lighting and indirect lighting. Direct lighting means which is directly affected from the lighting to the object and uh, indirect lighting means which is a bounce light which you can see here. Yeah. 
So when light drops like this, and it bounces back to the our CG, like whatever the model is, light is being bounced on the object. So that is called indirect light. And same thing goes here as well. Specular direct one and two, specular uh, indirect one and indirect two. Code direct one, direct two, and code indirect one and indirect two. Yep. So our this part is done. So now we can copy our original alpha to the main pipeline. So now if you see, I will reduce the amount of ambient occlusion because it is way too dark. I will keep it something like 0.19 or something. Yes, yeah, this is good. Yeah, this much. I will delete the rest of these things. We will also copy out the Z depth. Yeah. Okay guys, so only this much to cover in the today's video. Thank you very much for watching and give a like and comment so I can know how was the video and also do the subscribe so I can make more videos and also comment down what tutorial are you looking for so it will help me to make more. So again, thank you very much. See you in the next one. Goodbye.